Hey guys, Colgan here with Ku Shroud of the Morrigan. The music on the title screen here gets pretty loud, so I'm gonna jump right in and I'll do the introduction in game. So, this is made by a small group of Irish developers called Bitsmith Games, and the game is set in a Celtic mythology slash steampunk setting. It's based on the story of the Tawn, which is an Irish tale about Ireland's greatest warrior hero, Cú Cullen. I'm not too familiar with this story, I never read anything about it. I think as a child we were taken on a school trip to see a play about it, but so long ago I don't remember. Uh, so we don't get any introduction, no tutorial, nothing here, no message telling us what to do, we're just thrown in and expected to know. So we got left click to move, or you can hold down the left mouse button, leave the room I guess. Alright, so we got... This is basically our options menu here. We can adjust the music, sound effects, the language, English or Irish, our objective, talk to Kulan, the engineer, about the alarm. You know, it would have been nice if we got like a little pop-up or something telling us what to do instead of just being thrown in and sort of expected to know what to do. So we gotta find Kulan wherever he is. Let's see if we can talk to these robots. Yes we can and nothing of interest so let's keep moving. Okay we can't walk through steam. What is on his face by the way? Is that his actual skin color? Is it face paint or what because he's incredibly pale he seems to be wearing some sort of mechanical suit as well or he appears to be an engineer of some sort so it's either some mechanical suit or body armor I guess and this is Kulan that's the thing from the loading screen hey cool help me out the ring of power that provides our source of energy has gone missing and now the generator is completely unstable do me a favor, will ya? Pick up that cog and jam it back into its socket. Just touch and hold the cog to pick it up. Get to Aku, she's about to blow. Okay, touch and hold the cog. That sounds like a very iPhone type dialogue there. Surely they should have changed that for the PC version and said click. You know, I hope it's not like this throughout the game where it says touch and tap instead of click. Phew, that was a close one. I'd best head up to the village right away and let the king know what's happened. Best keep quiet about this, Koo. We don't want to cause any panic. Heh, <laughs> not that you say much anyway. Alright, so I guess we head up to the village to the king with him. I don't know, it doesn't tell us. Venture up into the village and seek out the king. It would be nice if they told us these things instead of having to constantly go into the menu here and see what your objective is. Alright, so what do we wait for him to go up to the top before it loads or... Well, we've got a play button here, do we just click this? Yes, we do. Alright, we're in the town. I'm liking the music so far. Let's talk to these guys, see if they say anything interesting. Nothing of interest. Just talking about the weather, his crops, and why my character is wearing that ridiculous war paint. Got a juggler. He's just talking about this guy moaning about his crops. Happy birthday, Koo. Okay, apparently their mother doesn't like them playing with swords. You know what, let's not talk to everybody, that's just gonna really drag things out. Let's just do what we need to do and find the king. I'm loving the art style. That's what originally attracted me to this game, actually. I was interested not only because it was an Irish game, which is 
kind of rare but the art style from the moment i saw it when i saw videos four or five months ago i loved it immediately and i just i wanted to play it right that degenerate old mechanic okay so the golem is broken on the bridge and i'm guessing we have to fix it which is likely got to do with this crystal what do we put it in the empty slot here yes we do Crystal is its power source. So now we gotta wait for him to go very slowly across the dam bridge. Are we on some sort of floating island or something? The bridge is held up by these propellers. Birds flying beneath us. Yeah, I think we are on a floating island from the looks of it. Hurry up, move. And we got here. So we just have to find the king wherever he is. I guess we just follow the road. We got some robot working on the farm. Looks like a guard. Why is my character so small compared to everyone? I think I'm like up to his knees or something. Got a rabbit. Alright, that's over there. Some massive cow. More robots working on the farm. Where's the king? Parents haven't been able to buy much food. Okay, we got starving children. Who cares? Who are you? Koo, I need your assistance. Okay, so apparently Char wants us to... Okay, so Char wants us to steal some food so that the children can eat. So I guess we go back into the town and find some food. That guy's face looks kind of weird. Looks really out of place. Alright, so back to the town across the bridge. I wish there was a way to move a little quicker because he's not running that fast. Hope we can get a skill that lets us sprint or something to speed things up. Travel is going to get really tedious if we have to move this slow all the time. I'm hoping we get our sword pretty soon so we can start the combat. Alright, is this... No, that's a woman. That's not him. Um, it's another woman. That's not him. This must be him. Or... Yeah, this must be the guy. Yeah, this is him, for sure. People are complaining about my prices going up, but some of them can do with eating a little less anyway. Okay. Can we... No, we can't take anything off the stall. What about this cake? We have to procure them a treat, so... Yep. We got them a cake, so I guess we bring it back to the kids or char. I really like that music. It's a shame it only plays when you're really close to them. It's like the further we get, the lower the music gets. I would like that music to be playing throughout the entire town, but it's just another minor gripe, I guess. Now we have to find that damn king wherever he is. Looks like the road branches off into like three or four different paths, so... Might take a while to find him. So let's deliver this cake. Here she is. Let's see, what reward will we get? So you decided to do the noble thing. Admirable. I'm sure the mouths of this food feeds will be most grateful. What? That's it. No reward. Stop drawing attention to me, Ku. Oh, well, fuck you too. I committed a crime. And you don't give me anything in return. What a bitch. You approach King Kankabar. Okay. So this is where the king is. Yeah, you're very effective guards. You're just letting some random child approach the king. Kulan, how could you let this happen? 
Your late father would be ashamed of how recklessly you've treated the responsibilities he handed down to you. Oh shit. Um, it just vanished, my king. One second it was there and the next, poof. I best stay in case something else happens. If you won't go, then who will, Kalan? Our ancestors built this village around a source of energy. Okay. I, I shouldn't have to read all this out, should I? I mean, the text is big enough for all of you to read, so I'll just skip through it. Okay, the druid to the north. Can't send the guards. Well, you don't have to send all the guards. You can send at least one or two guards, surely. Order must be maintained. Who else do I have? Who steps forward and raises his hand? Uh, <laughs> who keep out of this? The king is too young to be wandering around out there. Just because he's a child that likes to start fights with other kids doesn't mean you send him on some big adventure. Okay, we need some training, so we're gonna get a sword pretty soon, I think. It's one small problem. The big old gate that I was erected after a failed expedition all those years ago. Ah, so the gate is locked. There's no way to open it. Go now, Ku. Don't let us down. Actually, hold on. Is this Dara O'Brien? Look, look at the face. Is it just me, or does that look a lot like Dara O'Brien? Let's talk to him. Dar Dara. Yes, it is. <laughs> That's a nice little touch right there. I can't believe they actually put Dara O'Brien in the game. All right, so what do we do now? Speak to Catbad, the Druid, follow the path southeast past the guards. Alright. Now, let's see if these little shits will thank me for giving them food. Nope. Well, fuck you, kids. Fuck you very much. Ungrateful little shits they are. Oh, the music in this game is really nice. You have to admit that. The soundtrack. I've only heard, what, two songs so far, but... I still don't like that the further you get away, the lower it is. I wish they'd just play the music in the entire section, the entire area you're in, as opposed to just being right beside the musician himself. Okay, am I even going in the right direction, or... What, what the hell is this guy? It's like... A torso and mechanical spider legs, but... What's this on his back? <laughs> Let's talk to him. Cathbad, the druid. Ah, this is the guy. The king's guards have informed me of what's happening. You seek a ring of power. We rely on this ancient technology to provide power. You're aware of the story of the expedition can conquer. Uh, like I said, there's no need for me to read all these out. You can read it yourself. The dialogue is big enough. There's something out there. Cool. Okay, so we have to seek out this mysterious woman. And he just gave us our first weapon. And we have to go get some training. And what's this? Our, I'm guessing this is our stamina bar for attacks. Let's see what the sword is like. Okay, who's this? Looks like some sort of scientist. Ah, this is where we get our training, it looks like. Training. You've come to the right man. Right, simple attack. Tap on that dummy over there to attack it. This is what I don't like about these 
phone to PC for. It's lazy dialogue. It's just tap is such a phone thing to say. You're on the PC, it's click, not tap. I mean, it'll take all of what, five seconds to change the dialogue. Why don't they do it? It really gets on my nerves. Chain attacks. Simply attack one dummy followed by another. Okay, so I just have to attack one after another without doing anything else. Okay, so where are these? Here are the four dummies. So we click on one after another. So click, 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 click. Pretty simple. So now we go talk to him again. Now you're ready to face the time trial. You will have to use your roll ability to make it around the lake before the timer runs out. B button or right mouse button in the direction you're facing. Roll to use energy. Okay, head up to the lake and move through the green posts. Alright. So I'm guessing roll makes us run faster or move faster. As we race around in a circle through there. Let's go. What the hell? Ah, oh, here we go. We have 16 second 16 seconds to make it around there we go impressive I've never seen anyone roll like that before and with that I believe you're ready for the dangers that lie ahead I'll let the guards know that your training is complete they let you pass why do I keep reading out the dialogue out loud when I say I won't Okay, so over this way, I guess. Nope. Where are they? Ah, the path down there below where I started training. I ca actually, I kind of want his weapon. Is it? It's like a sword crossbow. I want that weapon. Let's see. Why can't I take some of these as opposed to it? Shitty little sword. There we go. I'm getting stuck on the path there. It's really, I can't walk over a pebble on the ground. Right, so here are the guards. I'm guessing the exit then is over here. I just want to get into the combat, really, and... Who the hell is this guy? Hell. That's a kind of an appropriate name. I have just the size for you. Ready? What? Ah. I get it now. I didn't notice the little coffin there at first. What's this? Huh. Okay. Ah, uh, that's the gate that doesn't open. What, do we tack these or something? <laughs> ah, there we go. That was... that was simple. Really? All those years and no one could figure that out? What, can we go back in? No. Oh, pretty much fucked. <laughs> We are on a floating island, aren't we? 